In a river full of monsters, I think I'm closing in on the unlikely catalyst that turned a tragic shipwreck into an apocalyptic bloodbath. Oh yeah, it's a good size fish. Just keep well clear of the line. The beast isn't a heavyweight red tail, but a hundred pound plus piraiba. This goes to show that these pristine waters aren't patrolled by just one type of giant predatory catfish, but two, and both were found at Obidos. But there's a problem. The hook has been taken deep inside the mouth, and I need to take it out. I'm going to shove my hand in to get the hook out. It's going to give me a bite. It's bitten my arm. But this extreme opportunity to feel the bite of a big catfish gives me the last piece of evidence I need. Piraiba are in the same family as red tails, and they have virtually identical rasping pads in their mouths. These give them a grip that prevents slippery, struggling prey from escaping, a grip far superior to human hands. Is the fish? This is a large fish. But I'm feeling massively undergunned. It's coming. All I have to pull in this giant is a thin rod and a wobbly canoe. That's the fish there. I'm trying to stop the fish coming to the surface. If it jumps, it could spit out the hook. But it seems the fish is calling the shots. Fish. Ah, ah! Look at this! Arapaima on a fly. This thing. This... It's actually, I was going to say, it's built like a missile. This is a tired fish, believe it or not. Two of us can hardly restrain it. Ah. It, it is just, doesn't it look like a missile? Long, streamlined body. I'm thinking about three times the size of the one that hit me. <sighs> Sent me flying, left me in pain for over a month. This thing came flying at you. Hit with the right place, shall we say the wrong place? Uh, you wouldn't know about it. Just a final flashing, fleeting moment, and then lights out for good. Ah, I got it! Ah, get me! Ah, and this one is gonna be a cracker! Ah. I've got him pinned through the gills on either side here and I get my finger right through where I've speared him at the back uh, to keep hold of him and you can eat these things straight out of the river like that mm. that is like the freshest Alaskan salmon you can possibly have I've always liked sushi and in the local Iyak communities, the annual fish runs were the primary food source for the entire year. Fish are packed full of protein, and the scales are small on a salmon, so you can eat the skin as well, as it contains high levels of fat. Just what my body needs to keep moving. It's been two days now since I had a square meal, and I'm gonna take full advantage of this feast. Ah, easier said than done. Ah, ah, come on. That is hard to get off. That is hard. That is hard to get off. Ah! Ah! I don't know if there's a mark there or not. Hopefully there's not a big red hole. That feels a bit sore. I mean, these things are like aquatic vampires. 